In this video, we're going to learn about using the Sign Up tool for advising. The Sign Up tool allows you to create a virtual sign up with time slots that students can sign up for. It will also send them a reminder email the day before with the location and time of their meeting. When you log in to Sakai and go to your advising site, the Sign Up tool will already be turned on. Click on that and then click on Add to create a new sign up. We can provide a title and a location. You can also put some information in the description if you want students to bring items with them. I'm going to scroll down here a bit. Now the start and end time refers to the actual meeting times. So if I want my students to come and see me on March 6th, starting at 2 o'clock, and then have my meetings end on March 6th at 5 o'clock, I've now set up the time span for all of my meetings. I'm going to leave meeting frequency to once only. If you're going to offer this more than once, you could actually set it up where you could do it daily or weekly, but that's a little bit more complicated. Sign up begins and sign up ends refers to when the students actually have access to start signing up for the slots. In this case, I'm going to send a message to my students and to let them know that the sign up is ready. I'm going to give them plenty of time. So six days before we actually have our advising sessions, this will become available for the students to start signing up. I'm also going to have my sign up end one day before the advising session. I would hope by then everyone would have signed up. I can then make this available to just my advising site. If I wanted, I could add other sites, but again, that's more complicated. In this case, I'm going to make my meeting type be multiple slots. And by default, it says that there are four slots open. Now remember, I made it from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., which is a three-hour time slot, and I could say, six students could come see me during that time. Each time slot I can decide how many students can come. So if I wanted, I could have two students come for each slot. But for advising, I'll leave it to one because that would get complicated. I can also then have it by default be 30, sec 30 minutes for each time. If I wanted to get fancy, I could come to the advanced user-defined time slots and create my own. Now why would I want to do this? Well, this is a case where I could actually come and say, you know, I want five minutes between each advising sessions. So I could have the first one go from 2 to 2.25 and then leave the next one 2.30 to 2.55. And I could con continue along like that if I wanted. That way there's a little bit of time in between each one. But I don't need to do that. Again, that was through the advanced user-defined time slots, but I'm going to turn that off right now. I don't mind if the students um, wind up waiting in the hallway for a couple of minutes. I'm going to click on Next, and I get an overview of what I just did. So the title is My Advising Time. The description provides information for the students on what they need to bring. And now the start and end time again are the times I'm going to be meeting with my students. It gives them the location, and sign up begins and ends is when the students actually have access to the sign up. There are six slots that are half an hour each, and only one student can sign up for each slot. If I scroll down a little bit further, I can set up where I receive an email when the student signs up, and I can also have an email sent to the student saying, hey, I just created the sign up uh, tool and it's ready to go which I will do because I want them to know. Additional settings allows me to have a wait list. So say a student really wants to come right at 2 o'clock but another student took that time. They can add themselves to the wait list so then if the 2 o'clock person decides that's not going to work for them anymore, the person on the wait list will get an email and they can sign up for that time slot. 
I can have students add a comment so they could say something like I really wanted to discuss a certain topic that they're concerned about. I can have an email go to each attendee one day before to remind them hey you signed up for advising at 2 o'clock and we're going to be meeting in Feinstein 305 and then I can actually have this published to the calendar. I'm going to scroll down and click on publish and now the sign up tool is available for students to see. And so this is what the students will see when they come into advising and they click on sign up, they'll see my advising time. To see what it looks like after students have signed up, I come back to the sign up tool and click on the particular sign up and I will see that someone has signed up for 2.30 to 3 o'clock. I can make, I can edit this participant, I can delete them, and I can also send them a message that will go to their Friars account. I have the ability to optionally add students myself as the advisor. Hopefully this will make advising a lot easier for you and you no longer need to have that piece of paper outside your office. If you need additional help, you can send an email to sakaihelp at providence.edu.